Hey everyone, this is Kadisha Najmi here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do a lot of affordable DIY projects and room makeovers and share tips and tricks on how to make your home beautiful on a budget on this channel. So if you are into this type of content, consider subscribing. And if at any point of the video you are enjoying it, go ahead and hit the like button as well. But let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so by the title of the video, you guys already guessed. So I'm gonna be sharing all the things that I learned throughout this process. And you're gonna to wanna to stay till the end of this video because I'm gonna be sharing like everything that you need to know about painting your walls if you are deciding to paint them in your home. So stay tuned. Before you do anything, before you go buy paint, you need to know what you want your room to feel like. Do you want it to be like a dark? Do you want it to be like bright? And so because my home office was already dark enough, I wanted some kind of like paint that would make my office brighter. And so I decided to go with white paint. There are so many shades of white. Now, since the white in my home office was more like a cool undertone white, I wanted to go with something more warmer, something more brighter. So I went to Home Depot and I grabbed a bunch of those like little paint chips that they have out, like the sample chips. Now you're probably thinking, okay, like that color is like not very similar. Trust me, it is very, very similar to the paint that I bought. And after the paint was already already on the walls, it looked very, very similar. So don't be scared there. Grab a bunch of those chips. And I put them on the wall. I, I shined a bunch of different lights, like my phone light. I shined like my lamp lights. And then little by little, I just like took the chips off that I didn't really like the color of. And then in the end, I was only left with like three. So I decided that I wanted to go with the silky white color. But then I waited till the morning. And when I saw those in the natural light, I actually decided to go with the Peleus white because I realized that the silky white, it looked a lot more cooler. So again, like it's really, really important for you to see those paint colors in different lights. And so the colors look way different in store versus your home. So you're going to have to bring those to your home, try them out for like one or two days then really, really decide on what color you want. So that takes me to my next step, which is... At Home Depot, they have the brand name Better Paint, and they have a couple of different um, mixes depending on the type of like wall you have. So I purchased the Guff Defense, which is the stain blocking paint and primer um, in the description it says that two coats is enough and um, it's stain blocking so because i had already messed up my wall and i had put a darker color because i was going to do a dark accent wall but then i decided not to do it i wanted that to be like covered and, and that would run me about 32 dollars for a gallon before you go and actually buy the paint can you're gonna want to first decide on what type of sheen you want so i picked the eggshell sheen now the eggshell is very close to a mat but it's a, it has like a little bit of shine in it eggshell is usually used for like high traffic areas in your home so i decided to go with eggshell because i am in my home office a lot so that kind of worked out for me another thing that you want to do before you go buy paint is to calculate how much paint you're gonna need so to do that, you're gonna need to um, follow these steps right here. You can take a screenshot of this screen, but I'm just gonna go ahead and go over it real quick with you guys. So you're gonna have to measure each wall in your room. Then you're gonna add each wall's measurement together. So mine came out to be like 400 square feet. So if you have 400 square feet, um, you're gonna need one gallon. So in the end, I ended up using one gallon and half a quart. Oh my god, they are freaking doing construction outside. If you can hear this noise, I do apologize because they had to do this right when I'm making this video. So 
Here's a list of all the products that I purchased. You can take a screenshot of this and I'm also going to be linking all the products I purchased in the description box below. So if you guys do end up purchasing, you can use my links. I do get a little bit of commission if you do use my links and uh, you know, help your girl out, you know what I'm saying? Okay, here's a quick demonstration where I attach the roller brush to the roller frame and then I attach the roller frame to the adjustable extension pole. I definitely recommend getting an adjustable one so you can make it longer or shorter depending on the height of your ceiling um, and that will give your back and neck some rest. <laughs> Here I'm taking off some of the hardware that I had originally on the walls for my curtains and then use a spackle to cover the holes. Make sure that you push the spackle into the hole as much as you can and use multiple coats if you need to. Once it's dried off, you can use a 220 grit sandpaper to sand it down to make it level to your wall. Okay, then I added some painter's tape along the trim. I added it around the doors and then over the ceilings, pretty much everywhere where you don't want the paint to go to, um, and around the switchboards as well. Okay, so Home Depot will provide you a tool to open up your paint can and a stirrer, so stir your paint before you use it. Okay, so I started off by painting the uh, smaller areas, which are pretty much areas around the switchboard, around the trim, and the corners, up the ceilings, places where you can't really get to with a roller brush. After you're done covering the corners and the trims and all that with the paintbrush, then you're gonna wanna go to your roller brush and I'm gonna share what not to do and what to do while fusing or while painting with a roller. All right, so you do not wanna put your painting tray in the middle of the room because you're gonna end up spilling paint everywhere. The right way to, is to put it against the wall for support and then um, use your roller brush to dip into paint and then use the raised part to distribute the paint evenly onto the paintbrush and until the paintbrush is fully covered. Now, uh, you don't wanna see streaks like that when you put the roller brush on the wall. That means you're not using enough paint and you're going everywhere. So when applying fresh paint, go from middle to bottom and then all the way up top and then run the brush several times up and down until the paint is evenly distributed. And then go back to the tray, get some more paint, then follow the same steps until you're done with the wall. I found that this was so much more helpful because I knew exactly where I was painting and how much more paint I'm going to need. And uh, that's how the professional painters were also painting, so I pretty much <laughs> copied them. Okay, so use the leftover paint from the paint tray when you're painting the corners because you can really clean out the tray with the brush to avoid wasting any paint. Okay, once you're done with painting, you can use soap and water to wash your brushes and the roller brush. Some people throw it away, but I recycle my brushes because why not? This paint is water-based, so it's easily washable and it's not harmful to flush it down the sink. 
Okay, after the paint is fully dry, mine was 24 to 48 hours, you can start taking the painter's tape off. If the painter's tape is stuck, it's not a good idea to pull harder because you can rip the paint off. If it is likely because there is a buildup of paint and you can use a sharp knife or in my case, I used a razor to cut through the paint that was holding my tape and then I was able to easily remove the tape without ripping the paint off from my newly painted wall. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do want to see the end result you're gonna to have to wait till my next video where I'm going to be showing you the entire decoration process because right now my home office is a mess I know the walls are painted and looking amazing but I wanted to end this video with it another video series which is going to be the part two of my home office makeover so stay tuned and if you have still not subscribed to my channel you can do so now and hit the notification bell so you guys know when I post that video. Um, you guys have an amazing Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye-bye.